Cell 3, the variants. Now you've got those 10 steps as a fundamental resource, as the cornerstone of your back training, we're going to give you some more weapons for your armory. You may not ever feel the need to use these exercises we're about to show you. You may just want to stick with bridging. That's fine. But no matter how good or even essential any movement series is, it's good to have some variations in your pocket. This is particularly true when it comes to anything which involves the back or spine. If done correctly, bridging can help heal old back injuries. But so many athletes carry injuries or minor aches and pains in this area anyway that it can be helpful to have a few variant exercises if you need to work around a pulled muscle or stiff lower or upper back. It never hurts to have more movement skills under your belt, provided you apply them right and don't overuse them. Tripod Bridge Once you've mastered the full bridge, tripod bridges are an excellent and challenging variant. As the name suggests, you push up into the bridge position using just three limbs instead of the usual four. Since the legs are stronger than the arms, the best way to learn is to push up using two arms and just one leg. This variation will really test your leg and trunk strength. That makes tripod bridges a good assessment exercise. If you've got any weaknesses in the bridge, they'll start to show in this technique. But if you're okay, try to build up to sets of 15 reps. If that gets easy, you're ready to try the advanced variation where you use two legs and just one arm, like this. This is a lot tougher and will really maximize your arm and shoulder strength. Due to the circular pressing movement, it will also strengthen your rotator cuffs if you build up to it properly. Because your lumbar muscles have to generate extra tension to keep your body stable, this is great for giving you a lower back made out of steel. An excellent variation to add into your program from time to time. Bow hold. A lot of athletes, men in particular, know lots of body weight exercises for the showy muscles of the body but they neglect the functional muscles. And no muscles are more functional for strength and fitness than the spinal muscles and posterior chain. They might be able to show you 10 different push-up variants, but if you ask them to show you a good exercise for conditioning the spine, they'd be lost. That's one reason why it's good to know the bow hold. Apart from bridging, the bow hold is one of the best exercises to really work your spinal muscles. It's simple, safe, and fairly easy to learn. You just lie face down on the floor and lean back, grasping your ankles and pushing your chest and knees as high as you can. Your body looks like a bow, hence the name. Training ideas. This is a great exercise to add to your routine. It's not a substitute for bridging, which is better, but it does work the spinal muscles well and provides a good anterior chain stretch. It's a great alternative to bridging if you're feeling tired or if your arms are exhausted from training. You can build up to 30 second holds or just hold the top position for a two count then lower back down and go for reps. Two or three sets of 10 reps makes for a great spinal workout with very little total body burnout. Camel hold. Once you've mastered the bow hold, the camel hold is a great spinal exercise to work with. The camel is a lot like the bow, but you do it upright instead of on your belly. You just kneel on the floor and lean back, grasping your ankles and pressing the hips forward. Because you can't use the leg muscles as much this way, the spinal erectors need to do most of the work, so the camel position is progressively more demanding than the bow position on the ground. As a result, the deeper muscles of the spine are activated really well. Training ideas. This exercise is actually pretty hard, particularly if you have a tight anterior chain and your back's not as strong as it should be. Most beginners and intermediates should learn the bow first. It's always useful to have some static or isometric exercises in your back training toolkit. 
because from time to time you might not want to do regular bridges. Maybe because of a shoulder injury, a wrist injury, or you just want some variety. Camel holds will keep the deeper muscles of your spine toned and in great condition if you need to substitute them for a while. Once you can do this exercise perfectly, build up to 30 second holds. Three sets of holds will be enough to really work out any athlete's back muscles. Inverse hyperextensions. Hyperextensions and rear hyperextensions are exercises for the lower back and posterior chain which involve straightening the body at the hips. You normally need a special exercise unit to perform this exercise, or at least the help of a partner. But prisoners have figured out a way to perform hyperextensions alone and without any custom-made apparatus. You perform a headstand and lower your legs down towards the floor without letting them touch the ground. From there, you raise your legs back up straight using only the spinal muscles, glutes, and hamstrings. Here's what it looks like. Training ideas. This is never an exercise which is going to build thick, powerful back muscles, but hyperextensions are a great way to work the lower back and hamstrings safely. In a deadlift or good morning, your feet are on the ground so the weight passes through your spine. This makes these exercises riskier if you have a bad back, but because your feet are in the air during wall hypers, minimal pressure is running down through your spine. This makes this exercise a perfect warm-up for a stiff back, or alternately, a therapy drill to loosen up your posterior chain and force lots of healing blood into a sore back. Be strict and work up to three or four sets of double figures to see good results. To make this movement easier, perform it from a shoulder stand. To make it harder, use a handstand. You are now in possession of the most advanced bridging progressions in the whole world. There's no excuse for a bad back or a weak spine anymore. We've given you the techniques. All you need to do is bring the willpower and actually start. Nobody can do it but you, but you can do it. If you need support, come and visit us at the forum at dragondor.com. We're there. Until next time, keep doing those bridges.